Hello everyone, this is Scooby Sarial, and today we will be talking about the things I bring on an overnight hike. Hiking for two days or more may sometimes be intimidating. Paano ba yun? Saan tayo matutulog? Anong kakainin natin? May banyo ba doon? What will we bring? These are some of the common things or common questions I get every time I do an overnight hike. But before you start packing, remember first, do your research. After knowing the basics such as what mountain you'll be hiking, ilang araw ba yun, ano yung itinerary, the difficulty level, the distance, some of the questions I usually ask would be water source. May tubig ba sa bundok na yun? That's very important. Potable ba yung tubig? Pwede ba ba inumin? How far the water source is from the campsite. From there, may kita mo na ilang liters kalamon dalin or how many bottles you'll be needing. Second, may campsite nga ba doon? Paminsan, you'll be hiking or you'll be hiking with a tent with you. Pagating mo, wala pa lang campsite. Matutulog kayo sa village or sa bahay ng isang local or sa school. It's very important to know where you will be sleeping. If there's a campsite, also know kung kaya ba ng campsite yung capacity ng grupo ninyo. Third, how cold or how hot it would usually be. Ayaw mong umakyat na may zero degree down jacket ka, yun pala sobrang init. Umakyat ka sa zambales, ang taas ng araw, open, exposed yung trail. You don't need a zero degree down jacket for that. Number four, are there presents of limatics? The small blood-sucking creatures na parang baby uod. Fifth, will there be any river crossing? It's very important for you to know that. Kung gaano kalalim siya, kung ilang river crossing, to prepare best, it's best to ask all those questions. Again, clarify everything. Second, if this will be your first time or you are just starting to do an overnight hike, consider hiking the relatively easy mountains such as Mount Batulaw in Batangas or Mount Batuluzong in Rizal. Third, when packing, keep in mind that there's your personal stuff and then there's the group equipment. With that in mind, let's start packing! The first thing you'll be needing is, of course, a backpack. I have here the Terra 50 and it's very suitable, it's big enough and comfortable enough for an overnight hike. The mother bag! Mother. <laughs> the mother! The mother bag! This will definitely help your stuff to be dry and safe. Sleeping bag. Sa gabi, lumalamig. You'll be surprised while you're trekking in it, but at night, it can be really, really cold. Sleeping mat. Cap. Buff. This one, I bring around two to three pieces for an overnight hike. It's very useful. Pwedeng neck protector para sa init, pwede para sa buhok, lalo sa mga long hair na tulad ko. Pag pinagpapawisan ka, you can put it around your arm o ganyan, tanggal pawis. Extra dry fit shirt. Usually ang ginagawa ko, isang pair pang tulog, up down, yung pantalon pati pants. Tapos pag naglalakad ka, isa lang lagi gamit ko. Kumbaga ang tawag namin dito parang dry fit shirt o get up mo na pang bakbakan. Ngayon, kung 3-4 days, then I bring, I bring an extra dry fit shirt. But usually for 2 days, Dalawa lang short kailangan mo. Isang pantulog at isa when trekking. Arm sleeves. Fan ako ng arm sleeves. Kasi sa Philippines, it's a tropical country. So, hindi ako fan ng magsot ng long sleeves. But the good thing about arm sleeves, you can wear your dry fit shirt. Tapos kung sobrang taas na ng araw, napapasok ka na, nagkaka-sunburn feeling mo. And then, this will protect you. Or, if the vegetation is very thick, this will also protect you. But then while you're hiking, biglang sobrang init, ditanggalin mo lang siya or just put it down. Windbreaker. 
I always bring one when I'm hiking. Kasi pag umakyat ka, mainit. Pero in the mountains of the Philippines, paminsan when on when or you're on a ridge line, bigla nga hangin. So this one will definitely give you that protection from the wind. Quick drying pants. The idea of a quick drying pants is syempre, pinagpamawisan mo yan. Paminsan may drizzle, paminsan may konting ulan. So the ability for your pants to be quick drying is very, very important. Remember, do not wear jeans while hiking. Kasi pag nabasa yun, your life will be very, very miserable. Kung baga, ang bigat niya, magkakashaving ka pa. So again, quick dry pants. For this one, also, I only bring two pieces when I'm doing an overnight hike. Isang pang bakbakan, the pants that you use when hiking, and the other pair of pants is when you're sleeping. Para fresh, para maganda yung tulog mo, di ba? More sure wicking underwear or dry fit underwear. Kung napansin mo ibay chura niya, di ba? Well, cycling shorts talaga siya. Kasi the thing about what I'm using and what I'm used to when hiking is that when I'm using underwear or boxer shorts, may tendency na kakashave ako, na kakashaving. Sa ang sakit naman when that happens, it will be very very hard for you to do even just tiny walks. Socks. It should be either synthetic or wool. Never, never use your office socks. Alam mo ba, one time gilamit ko yun, when we did Tarak Ridge, pantingin to Tarak, ah, my life became so, so miserable. Ang nagamit kong socks was office socks. So while hiking, biglang umulan, at yung pa ako, nabasa, nagkaroon ng shaving. You know what, when I got down, bawat daliri na aking paa, nagkasugat. Sobrang sakit. You don't want that to happen to you. So for an overnight hike, isa every day. But then, paminsan pag limang araw na, you can use three or four. Try mo labahan para your pack will be lighter. Mid cut hiking shoes. Pag tinatara mo bakit mid cut hiking shoes at hindi low cut. The thing about mid cut hiking shoes, eto ang ginagamit ko when I when I'm doing an overnight hike, three days, four days, five days, because it gives more support to your ankle. As compared to day hike, pag day hike yung ginagamit ko lang is yung mga low cut or paminsan trail running shoes. Slippers, chinelas. ba? Ang strap na to, after 8, 9, or 10 hours of trekking, as soon as you arrive at the campsite, tatanggalin mo yung sapatos mo, yung medyas mo, ah, and then wear this. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam. Remember to bring one. Down jacket. Depending on the mountain you will be hiking, especially if you'll be hiking in the Cordillera Mountains or the high mountains in the Philippines like Mount Apo, Mount Dulang Dulang Kitanglad, Mount Amuyao or Mount Kaluitan, malamig doon. So definitely, a down jacket will be very very helpful for you. Base layer. Base layer, this gives you so much warmth. It's one of the layering that I'll be teaching to you on the different episode. So the idea of this is para siyang pajama. Pag malamig, this will give you extra warmth. Ang base layer pang taas, meron din pang baba. So base layer for your pants. Parang ko nagbibenta, no? Another down jacket. Siyempre, when you're hiking in the mountains, the temperature varies. So when it's a colder mountain, you need an extra layer, not just one, but two, or sometimes even three layers of jackets. So for this one, this is my third layer actually. We have the down jacket a while ago, and then the base layer, and then finally this one. So it depends on the mountain you'll be hiking, but then layering is very important. When it comes to layering, I'll be talking about that more on a different episode. Beanie or a bonnet. Definitely up in the mountains, it gets really, really cold. And ang una lumalamig would be your hands, your feet, at saka ang tenga mo. So this one, a beanie, would protect you from the cold. Two sets of gloves. One, designed for the cold. Second, designed when you're hiking. This gives you protection when you're gripping on rocks, on branches, or even on trees. Rain gears. Your waterproof jacket and your waterproof pants. But sometimes, these waterproof pants and waterproof jackets can be a bit expensive. So, a poncho is there to save you, to save your wallet. This one will do its job. A poncho or a raincoat. Eating utensils. Spork. A spoon and a fork. 
Water bottle. Depending on the mountain you'll be hiking, sometimes you need an extra water bottle. Ako usually, I drink one liter for every two to three hours of hiking. Again, that will depend on the mountain you're doing. For some people, if there's a potable water source, you'll be needing a water filter. Trail food. An apple, a chocolate, your whatever's your preference. But I go for dried bananas, dried mangoes. It gives you that extra energy. So trail food. Emergency food. When hiking or when camping, may mga set nas ko yung ginagawa. I bring extra delata or extra food just in case magkulang yung pagkain or just in case biglang kailangan yun ng extra meals. Knife or utility knife. You never know when you'll be needing it. Trek pools. For overnight hike or for multi days, I use a trek pool. Because it helps me in my balance and it reduces the pressure on my knees. If you're flying out, for example, you're coming from Luzon and flying to Mindanao to climb Mount Hamigitan, for example, you can bring this. It's allowed if you check it in. Shades, pampa pogi, headlamp, and extra batteries. Boom! Extra light or lamp. Boom! Pillow. For some people, they bring a separate pillow. For me, bring sama sama ko na mga damit ko. Tapos sino kita gamit ko kunan? Your first aid kit and your personal medicines. Wag kang umasa sa mga kagrupo mo. Have your own. Whistle. Always have one. For mine, lagi siyang nasa bag. Duct tape. I always bring a duct tape every time I go hiking. So ang ginagawa sa duct tape is pang patch ng buta, sa tent, sa bag, or even for your shoes among others. What I do is, I roll it on my Nalgene para sigurado ako na lagi akong may dala. Umbrella for the rain or even for the heat of the sun. Camera. Siyempre, for those precious memories. Siyempre, remember your phone and a power bank. Plastic. It may be bigger, but have one for your personal trash. Remember, Leave no trace. Sunblock and insect repellent. Your toiletries. Quick dry towel. Trowel. Pag misan sila sabi ng iba, kailangan meron isa for group. But actually, kailangan may sarili ka. Imagine nag-hike ka, biglang tinawag ka ng number two. Ang sarap na magkaroon ng trowel. Especially if you do your number two. So the things I said are all your personal stuff. Now, let's go to the group equipment. For the group equipment, it's usually a sign. If you are three, four, five people hiking, how many tents will you be bringing? You don't want to have one tent per person. Usually it's around one tent for two to three people, dalawang cook set, so it depends on your planning. But definitely, that's why group equipment, group, tulong-tulong kayo sa pagdadala at pagbubuhat. Remember, when bringing hiking equipment up the mountain, you must first try it out here in Manila or wherever you are. For example, yung tent. Itayo mo muna yung tent sa bahay ninyo before bringing it out. Your stove, is it working? Your cook set, kompleto ba? Kasi paminsan, I remember when I was in college, binigay sa amin yung tent, umakyat kami. I think that was Mount Pulag via Akiki Trail. And then when camping, when pitching the tent, bigla nakita namin yung poles ng tent namin, iba-iba yung sizes. So, paano yun? Pero namin na tayo yung tent. So, make sure, before you bring a hiking gear up the mountain, try it first here, wherever you are. In Manila, or in the city, and in your home. Hiking tent. Stove. There are different types of stove. What I have here is a butane type of stove. The other types of stove, I'll be discussing it on a different episode. Now, for a stove, definitely you have to match it with a butane. The number of butane will depend on how many times you will be cooking in the mountains. Cook set. Food. Yung bigas nyo, yung ulam ninyo. The food meal planning will depend on the whole group. Water container or what they call canteen. This will depend on the water source at the campsite. Kung malayo siya, you may, need be, you may be needing more. Kung malapit lang, then possibly one is enough. Again, it depends on the group. Lighter or matches. Remember, when bringing one, it should be in a waterproof container, like a, like this one. Two-way radio. 
communication is key. So when up in the mountain doing multiple days of hiking, you need to be in touch with each other. Group medicine kit. Lahat tayo, we should have our own personal med kit. But then of course, there's a more detailed, more technical medicine kit. Or group medicine kit. Dito ang lamat is Gaza, triangular bandage, some tapes, etc. etc. scissors. So it's more detailed for the whole group. So there you have the things I bring on an overnight hike. Remember, expect the worst and hope for the best. When entering the mountains and the outdoors, come in prepared and I'm sure you will have the best of that outdoor experience. There you have it. Ask me anything about hiking and everything in between. If you like what you saw, click like and subscribe. Again, I'm Kobe Sarial and your hike starts here.